everybody, how's it going? This is Eastside Steve Eastside Show SCP, and today I'll be going over some of the new SCP classification system that was introduced in recent years. Now, the old system, for a lot of the older SCPs that's come out, they usually have the item number, and then the containment class, and then the special containment procedures. The new classification system still has the item number and the containment class, but it also has a clearance level, disruption class, and a risk class, of which I'll be going over. On the upper right is the clearance classification levels, and from lowest to highest, they are unrestricted, fully available to all personnel, regardless of clearance level, restricted, fully available to all personnel level 2 or above, unless otherwise specified, confidential, fully available to all personnel level 3 or above, unless otherwise specified, secret, fully available to all personnel level 4 or above, unless otherwise specified. Top Secret Locked to all personnel without express permission or overseer clearance level. The next portion is the Disruption class, and they are as follows. Dark Little to no potential to disrupt the general population. Vlam Low potential to disrupt the general population. Disruption is typically confined to a locality. Kinek Medium potential to disrupt the general population. Disruption is typically confined to a region or city. Eki High potential to disrupt the general population. Disruption is typically widespread, affecting major metropolitan areas or countries. Amida Worldwide disruption of the general population. Disruption is global, and is a significant threat to established normalcy. Threats that have the potential to disrupt an area larger than the boundaries of the planet Earth fall within the bounds of the Amida classification. There is also five levels to the risk class scale. Notice, the anomaly in question has a low risk potential. Individuals nearby may feel minimum effects from the anomaly, but these effects rarely pose any harm or even discomfort. Caution, the anomaly in question has a moderate risk potential. Individuals nearby will likely experience the effects of the anomaly and these effects may cause discomfort or harm. Warning, The anomaly in question has a high risk potential. Individuals nearby will likely experience the acute effects of the anomaly, and will be at risk for experiencing severe harm, up to and including death. Danger, The anomaly in question has a very high risk potential. Individuals nearby will invariably be exposed to harm, up to and including death. These effects are very difficult to mitigate. Critical. The anomaly in question has an extremely severe risk potential. Individuals nearby will invariably be exposed to acute, life-threatening harm. These effects cannot be mitigated. If you wish to see the entire article for yourself, there will be a link in the video description you can check out, and also it's listed in the video itself. 